The diagram represents a regular pentagon. Find the value of angles I and E. So I actually represents what's known as interior angles, and E represents what's known as exterior angles. So there are actually two uh, methods to solve this problem. One is a bit easier than the other. Method one. Note, well, we're gonna need, the word regular means that all the lengths, all the sides are the same, equal, and all the e angles would be equal. Let's consider a polygon with just seven sides. Okay, it's not regular. If you take a point, to take that point there, from that point there, you can draw a line to that one. You can't draw a line to that one because it's on the side. You can draw a line to this point here, this vertex here, this vertex here, and this vertex here. Now, if you look at the number of triangles you have here, it's one, two, three, four, five, and each angle sum is 180 degrees, and each part of an angle will make up the, the whole angle of a particular vertex. So, there are five triangles, two less than the number of sides, and it's always true, they're always gonna be two less for any polygon. If you think about our pentagon here, if I draw a line here and here, that's going to give me three triangles. So, the angle sum of seven-sided po uh, polygon, which is called a heptagon, is going to be seven minus two times 180. That seven minus two will give me the five, si five sides. So, seven, because it's got seven sides, take away two because there's always two less triangles and multiply by 180. So in its general form, in its general form, the 180 is for angle sum of the triangle, so the angle sum of an n-sided polygon is going to be n minus 2, where n stands for the number of sides, times 180. Okay, so just repeat, n stands for the number of sides. So if I have a seven-sided one, it's seven minus two times 180. If I have a five-sided one, which I have here with the pentagon, then that will be five minus two times 180. And that will help me find the angle sum, what all these interior angles here add up to. Right. So if I want to find, for a regular polygon, and only if it's regular, I can actually find the size of the interior angle by doing the angle sum, which is n minus two times 180, divided by the number of sides. Let's apply that now to a regular pentagon. So that will be, I will be 5 minus 2, because there will be 3 triangles, times 180, because each angle sum is 180, and then I need to divide it by 5, because there are 5 such angles. That's going to give me 540, uh, so it's 3 times 180, it was 540, divided by 5, which gives me that I is equal to 180. Now, for the exterior angle, well, what we know is that I plus E, or E plus I, must be equal to 180 degrees. So it, as I know I, I can form the equation. So E plus 108 is equal to 180. They add up to 180 because they're on a straight line. And therefore E, so subtracting 180, E will be 72 degrees. Now, there's an easier way of doing this, like method two. If you look, at all these exterior angles, and if you were to put them together, you would notice they will actually go around a complete circle. Now the angles in a complete circle are 360 degrees. So the sum of the in the sum of the exterior angles for any n-sided polygon is 360 degrees. No matter what the size of the polygon is, the exterior angles always go around a complete circle. So they always add up to 360 degrees. So if we find E first, rather than I, we can say that E is going to be 360 divided by N for a regular polygon. So in our case, for our regular pentagon, E is going to be 360 divided by 5, because there are 5 sides, which is equal to 72. Notice the same answers we got up here. And then we can just do this idea in reverse over here. To find the interior angle, we can say that E plus I is equal to 180, and therefore 72 plus I is 180, 
I minus 72 I will be equal to 108 degrees so this method 2 is actually much easier for finding them but remember these only work if the polygon is regular i.e. the sides length of the sides is the same and that the therefore as a result of that all the angles will be equal